This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Well, the real Coco SWV shares that as she was preparing for her verses last night, someone was shot outside of her hotel window and that messed her mind up for the performance. She said, hashtag mental health. Her son helped her through everything. Yeah, I mean, you know, that, that would mess you up for a performance for sure. That would definitely ruin the day. <laughs> I would say that uh, crime is out of control in many cities. Uh, there is a spike, especially in Atlanta and New York. And I think this took place in Atlanta. Uh, next up, we got. So little baby says, how does the voice what is it, the voice of heroes dropping May 28th sound at little Dirk? Then they quickly delete it. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so, you know, maybe it was just, like, to tease people. But this will definitely bring Little Dirk's career to another level. Because, like, Little Baby's got them stimmy packages right now. Um, and, you know, Little Dirk's gotten... This will be his, you know, maybe fifth dose of a stimmy right here. <laughs> He's gotten a Drake stimmy. The the Catastrophe stimmy. The Little Baby stimmy. And then another Little Baby album stimmy. Psh, man. So Gilly uh, says that Jay-Z's verse on Sorry Not Sorry was corny. I have to agree with him. It was a little... Oh, we talked about this. This wasn't the best Jay-Z verse I've ever heard in my life. And everyone's talking like, oh, this song is needed. This, this. Jay-Z and Nas have done songs together in the past. Just in case you didn't know, Nas's verse was good. Jay-Z's verse was good. Was it the best Jay-Z verse I've ever heard? No. You know, another B. That's another B. C. Okay, you know, it's like, what? Okay, cool. But everyone's losing their mind over that. That's a B. That's another B. Hey, say hey to B. <laughs> um, Pooh Shiesty says he has a present for a biker gang who refused to cooperate. Deadly shooting. He says, I got something for you when you guys come home. It's like, okay. Okay, Pooh Shiesty. <laughs> you don't even know these guys. <laughs> um, first time nobody said a word. I'm sure it's happened before. <laughs> um, American rapper J. Cole uh, will be in Rwanda, could feature local side Patriots at the upcoming basketball and African League. I think he's playing in an African League, which is pretty amazing for, for a, he's going to play basketball professionally. Or is it just a competition? I don't know, but that's cool. It's definitely J. Cole season. He's got a documentary out, he got a new single out, and now he's playing basketball. It's J. Cole season, for sure. An album's coming very shortly. Uh, Mike Tyson reacted, could Jake Paul or Logan Paul take Mayweather? He was like, absolutely not. <laughs> they're going to get crushed. I love those guys, but they're going to get crushed. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, we got to put up the last one. This is funny. Let me put it up right here. We got another DJ Khaled, another one. He gave us another gem today. He cried. He cried for the camera. He said, you'll film me. I'm about to cry, my G. DJ Khaled cries after his album debuts number one on Billboard, selling 90,000. You know why he's crying? He knows 90,000 isn't going to get him to where he needs to pay all these rappers back. <laughs> he's still in the red. He got every famous person you could think of on this album and he owes him a lot of money he's doing the math in his head and he's like 90,000 isn't gonna cut the bill he said I cried many nights tears of joy and pain the pain is all the money it's gonna cost to pay everybody out on this album he needs to sell more than 90k the first week I'll tell you that much might not get a chance I'm just joking, man. Anyways, it's Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. I'll check you out in the next one. Peace.